I'm in Cyprus and I have to drive on the left side of the road right now. <laughs> Wait, why are you guys leaving? Two people left the car. McDonald's ice cream machine is always broken. Welcome to the vlog, dude. I'm vlogging today. What are you posting this on? Uh, it's called YouTube.com. Oh, so it's like this like that? platform for like video cloud-based sharing of high quality video content. They even do oh, HD. But how would you share cloud? So it's, it's really well, it's like an HD thing. So it's like TV or something? So McDonald's is being investigated by the FTC and I'm here in Cyprus making a documentary series for the first time in a while. And I wanna show you some of it. And I just need to give you a bit of an update on McDonald's and all the things happening right now. Cyprus remains the tinderbox that could set off a full-scale war unless the differences between Greek and Turk can be resolved. I'm making an, 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 like an announcement video. Yeah, the little video on your YouTube channel. Yeah, my little YouTube channel. channel I'm being also vlogging super today. Little. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, what is going on? You're also vlogging today? <laughs> It's cool, let's just bring a cow with us. These donkeys don't belong to anyone. I'm going to jump off a cliff, I gotta vlog it for my video. So today's video is not gonna be an explainer. I know you come to this channel to learn things. You'll learn a little bit about the lawsuit and the FTC investigation, but today I wanna to give you just an update and tell you a little bit more about the series I'm doing. Before we get into that, I want to thank today's sponsor, who is BetterHelp. I've said this before, I'm a big believer in therapy. I believe that therapy needs to be normalized, and it needs to be way more accessible and way more common for people. I started doing therapy with a licensed professional therapist almost two years ago, and it has changed my life. It is not a crisis line. It is a place where you can go to find a good therapist. Finding a good therapist is kind of hard, especially when you only have the options in your city. BetterHelp is an online thing. It's remote. You can browse thousands of therapists and choose one, and then if you don't really fit with the therapist, which is a very common thing, you can easily switch to another one for free. No like calling your insurance and figuring out who's in network and that whole debacle that is just sort of when you are already looking for therapy, you don't wanna be like stressing out about finding a therapist. It's super easy to sign up. Within 48 hours, you could be talking to a professional. I really believe in therapy and believe that BetterHelp is doing a good job trying to make therapy more accessible. So there's a link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Johnny Harris. When you click that link, it helps support this channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. You can try it out and see if it works for you. Thank you, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel and for supporting the journalism I'm doing here in Cyprus. Now, let's get to the update. There you go, yes. There you go. Okay, oh, it's like the warm up, dude. First off, McDonald's. Holy smoke. So I made this video about the ice cream machines. Can I get an ice cream cone? The ice cream machine is broken. Ice cream machine is broken. Kind of sounds like there's a story behind that one, doesn't it? This was like back in the spring, and I didn't think this video was, like it was a 30 minute video about ice cream machines. And suddenly there's like 8 million views or something. Like people clearly wanted to learn about this. It made a pretty big splash. And then it turns out, according to the Wall Street Journal who just reported on this, the FTC is now investigating this issue, the ice cream machine makers, to see if there's something weird going on. I think there's something weird going on, at least that's what the evidence points to. I don't know what weirdness is going on, but something weird is going on, and it's not just a four hour cleaning cycle. So, I'm gonna keep my eye on this. The Wall Street Journal seems to be like really into reporting on these ice cream machine makers, like me and the Wall Street Journal are like in lockstep right now. <laughs> and, and so I'm gonna keep my eye on this reporting and see what happens next. Meanwhile, if you remember from the ice cream machine story, there is that startup called Kitsch that is the one that sort of got blackballed by McDonald's when they tried to invent a fix for the ice cream machine makers. They have filed a lawsuit and they even got awarded a restraining order because they have alleged and have very good evidence for the fact that McDonald's and Taylor and this whole cadre of ice cream machine people have gotten a hold of their technology and are using it to basically make the same thing for themselves. 
which is a big no-no, you don't do that. So this is still a developing thing, but the fact is that like, I think I stepped into a can of worms that I didn't know was gonna be a big deal. And I think the video that I made may have had some effect on all of this, which is sort of a weird thing. Um, Wired also put out a really solid article on this that I'll link in the description. Overall, it feels good to be doing YouTube, but also feel like I'm doing real journalism and that it's being validated on a bigger scale. Cool. You know, I left Vox and felt a little bit insecure about the fact that like, oh, I'm leaving a journalistic institution. Like, what does that mean for me and my reputation as a storyteller and a journalist? And part of me likes this freedom and this ability to be more creative and more personal and like be able to talk to you like I'm doing right now. But part of me also feels a sense of like, I still want to be like in the journalism world. Which I guess gets to a second little update, which is a video that I made with the New York Times last year got nominated for an Emmy, which is like, okay, that's cool. The Emmys are sort of like an old legacy thing, like for like legacy TV, but more and more they're they're updating and, and recognizing work that is being done now on this platform. And that's kind of exciting. I'm actually working on another piece with the New York Times right now that will publish in the fall. So keep an eye out for that. Man, so many updates. Okay, Cyprus. Let me tell you about what I'm doing here in Cyprus. Man, this is, this is probably the most exciting thing I have to say. Um, where to start? On my way over to Cyprus, me, Iz, and the boys stopped by Sicily and have a sort of before back to school vacation all together. First time I was able to practice my Italian, though boy oh boy is the Italian in Sicily not Italian. It's, clear, it's literally a different language, but even the Italian they speak is like, man, that was hard. It's really hard, but boy is the food good. Sicily is a very wild place. And, and while there, there was some very stressful stuff that came up. There was like a bunch of EU announcements about the borders being closed. We were up late talking to VCs and founders about Bright Trip, which is a huge thing in my life right now that I'm just not gonna go into, but like Bright Trip is growing and we're trying to raise a bunch of money and like it's actually really hard to do entrepreneurial things, I've decided, like it's actually like not easy to do it, which is why like most people don't do it. And I see now why people just sort of flake out on it after a while because it's really hard and emotional to try to build a startup, but but it's it's happening, it's working. We're building Bright Trip and it's turning into a pretty cool thing. But anyway, it was a wonderful time with the kids out on the road again, after many years of not being on the road. And then Izzy and the boys flew back to Washington DC and I flew here. So this is probably why most of you clicked on this video. Maybe you care about ice cream machine makers, maybe you care about my Emmy nomination, but I'm pretty sure most of you care about like the documentary explainer work that I do. And the good news is that I'm doing it. I'm back. I'm back on the road. I'm doing it. I'm back, baby! The past year of my life has been very strange. Vox Borders was canceled uh, last year, sort of around this time. And that's when I really decided that I needed to build this channel. So I started making a bunch of videos, tons and tons and tons of videos that you've been seeing. I've been in the office making videos, but I need to tell you that my heart, my heart is here. It's out here, it's me on the road, talking to people, looking at complicated stuff, trying to understand it, pouring over maps and documents and looking at archive. Like that is where my heart is. And I haven't been able to do that since, since Borders was canceled, mainly because this channel wasn't big enough to financially support that and COVID-19. But both of those things have changed. This channel has grown significantly thanks to all of you being here. And COVID-19 is kind of going away. Bye-bye. 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 Hey, you live here in Pittsburgh? Uh no, it's not. Let's be honest. It's not going away. Like we thought it was. I thought it was. So there was this one day Izzy and I were driving in Iceland. The boys were asleep. And we were thinking, it was like two in the morning, it was like light outside, beautiful. And we were talking, Izzy was talking about like, well, what do you miss about, about, you know, Vox? And I said, well, I miss my colleagues. I miss like hanging out with people that, I, that inspire me. And then I said, I miss being out on the road. And she's like, dude, go. 
like go out on the road. Like, like you can do that now on your channel. And, and it just hit me and I was like, I knew at some point I was gonna do it, but like now's the time. So then the question was, what story do I tell? What place do I go? And Cyprus has been on my mind since 2014. I studied peace and conflict resolution in my master's degree, and I took an entire course about conflict resolution and mediation. And Cyprus, the conflict here in Cyprus, was the subject of that course. In fact, that course, in addition to my experience in Tijuana and so many other experiences like that, are what woke me up to my obsession and interest in divisions and lines and maps. So we spent a couple of months just diving deep into Cyprus. And then we came here. I came here with Jack, my assistant producer, and this guy, Corey Pop. I've never traveled with a real camera person before. So to have Corey Pop, who is a DP that worked on Explained and is just incredibly good at what he does, to have him with me to help tell this story was a really special moment. So for the past 10 days, we've been on the road, traversing this entire island, talking to military, going on military vessels, going into buffer zones, talking to the UN. It has been a deep dive in reporting on Cyprus, and I am so excited to share these stories with you. And while I was here, I met up with these guys. I invited Thomas and Nathaniel to come with me to Cyprus because, mainly because I just wanted to hang out with my friends. Like, these are friends of mine that I've made on the internet that I talk to often, but like don't get to hang out with very often. It's like, and overall, it was just a good time to reflect and to bond and to have some like social interaction for the first time in a really long time. Hand. Did, did this guy a spritz? No! <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a boat coming to our cliff? Damn, what a, that was a sick photo. I, I know that's gonna come out great. And now they're gone, and I am still here reporting in Cyprus. The stories that you're gonna see me tell in this new series, which is called, by the way, Uncharted, that's the name of the series. The stories you're gonna see me tell are going to feel like me. They're gonna feel like videos I've always made. Um, after all, I can't change that. It sort of comes from my curiosity, comes from my voice but they're gonna feel different. They're gonna feel more intentional. They're gonna feel more visually rich. They're going to feel more human, I hope. Talk to a lot more people than I've ever talked to. I was able to focus on the interviews because I had a, a camera person, you know, Corey was there shooting, and so I wasn't there fiddling with audio and, and, and getting the frame right. I was actually like just focused on the conversations. And hopefully they'll be just better reported, more sensitive, more clear, more informative than anything I've ever done. I've grown up as a storyteller in over the past year and a half, and I'm really excited to share this story with you, a story that has been on my mind since, since I sat in that classroom in grad school, and I was like, someday I will tell this story. And I've been working with my composer, Tom Fox, who has created an entire custom score for Cyprus. It's like synthy and orchestral and minimal, but also like very intense and emotional. You're listening to a little bit of it right now. So I probably shouldn't like be giving away all the juicy stuff of this series, but I just can't help it. There's too much good stuff. So let me just give you a little nugget of what I've been seeing over the past 10 days. For the past several decades, this has just been no man's land. Hey, nice to meet you too. All right. There was commerce, there was an economy, there was trade. This place was thriving and then it just collapsed. So that's it. That's my update, everyone. It feels really good to be back on the road. I am exhausted. My brain is still in this like middle ground where I'm still trying to, to like make the stories like come together. There's still so much reconciling I have to do in the script, but I feel good, I feel good to be here, back in my natural habitat, on the road, telling stories, talking to people, traversing a new place and trying to understand it and trying to translate it to a bigger audience so that you can catch a glimpse of what's happening here 
and the emotions and the people and the politics at stake. That is my goal. That is the update. Thank you all for being here, and I will see you very soon as I kick off Uncharted. Uncharted.